Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. This is going to be episode three of five. All right. You're going to listen to me call a couple live dealerships and I'm going to hit these sales pros with some objections. I've got a special objection lined up for all of them. Will they break or will they make it? Check it out. Yeah, Robert, I was going to check the availability of a pre-owned vehicle. Sure, which one are you looking at? Uh, 2018 Kia Soul, green. Okay. Let me look that up real quick. Let's check it out for you. Hey, how's your day going? My name's Robert. What's your name? Yeah, what's that? It's awesome talking to you. By the way, where are you calling from today, guys? Do you see it? Guys, am, am I crazy? Where are you located? Yeah, I'm right here in Santa Fe. Oh, you're okay, okay. I'm sure I saw the 405 area code. Okay, cool, yeah. No, I'm, I'm in Santa Fe. Okay. Here's Guys, now listen, I don't know where we're going, okay? But I was just calling to check the availability. Yeah, hey, I totally appreciate you it's reaching still, out. still available. Watch. Okay, awesome. Um, by the way, it's green, six, uh, does that 36 or 63,000 miles? 63. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so I appreciate it. I'm, I'm looking for something with a little less miles on it. So I really appreciate it. I thought it said it had 36,000 miles. Oh, really? Okay. Yep, 63, to be honest with you. So. Uh, okay, well, I really appreciate you. It, it's, it's, a nice, it's a clean vehicle, though. I mean, we got a price right. I mean, it's a, it's a nice one to look at, you know, especially being the, it's the 18, so yeah, it's a little high in miles. Not too bad, though. Again, affirming it has high miles. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit too many miles. So I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem. You have a good day. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, guys, so listen, what could he have said? Look, has somebody ever called on the phone and they're calling on a phone pop and guess what? The phone call doesn't just go perfect. Absolutely, every time. This guy didn't ask who I was, how my day's going, what's going on, make a connection with me. He just gave me just information. And when I said, oh man, my bad, I thought I had 36, not 63. He's like, oh man, yeah, that is kind of high miles. He agreed with me. Look guys, what he should have said is on a Kia, 63,000 miles, these vehicles are rated to run a half a million miles. 63's not even broke in. And look, at the end of the day, you were looking for 36, and I bet you saw the price, right? So I'm sure you're on a budget and I'm sure price is important to you. It's important to me too when I buy something. The fact that it's got 63,000 is probably why you called because it's got a better price point. Look, Mr. Customer, on this vehicle, 36,000 or 60,000 on a key is nothing. They're gonna drive the same. If I covered the odometer, they both literally drive and feel and look like they have 36,000 miles. So with that being said, you looked at the pictures, you saw the price, this vehicle, all the depreciation has already been taken into consideration because of a little bit of mileage. That means you get to spend a lower price, have lower payments, and then in a couple years when you go to trade it back in, you won't really be upside down because the depreciation's already hit. There as if it did have 36,000 miles on it, you would have to pay a higher price, which would be a higher payment, and then guess what? The depreciation curve would have happened from 30,000 to 60,000 and you probably end up being upside down on your car. Look, Mr. Customer, have you ever won the lottery? You just did. The fact that you called, do you believe in fate? I do. This vehicle's got 63,000 miles on it. One to 10, it's an 11. If I covered the odometer, you'd think it had zero miles on it. Guys, it's in the price point. Payments are gonna be low. Abracadabra, what time can you make it? When I show you the car, you're gonna be blown away by how nice it is. Boom, you should have rolled off it and went with it. Did that happen? No. He agreed with me that it had high miles and then he let the call drop. Did a dealer pay the advertising money to get this lead? I think so. Did we just throw it in the trash can? Yeah, we did. Let's call another one. Yo, this is Mike, I can help you. Yeah, Mike, I was gonna check the availability of a pre-owned vehicle. Yes, sir. Can I get your name? Can you talk oh, to me? Uh, yeah, I got a 2015. Uh -huh. 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee, silver. Oh, with like 80,000 miles? Yes, sir. I think, uh, look, yeah, we just sold it. Okay, just sold it. Just sold it, and like, yes, sir. Okay, well, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, bye-bye.
All right, now listen, I'm going to throw the phone call in there. I'm going to call another one, guys. But I'm going to ask you this, all right? Is this guy sitting down? Okay, is he standing up selling cars, having the best day of his life? Or is he sitting down and doesn't care? Look, I'm going to tell you this. If this is the passion your sales team has, and they're passive about how important a lead is to handle it right, this is the kind of results you'll get. This could have been the next car deal in the store. Look, am I in the market for a pre-owned car? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, if I didn't like this one, would I have to have bought another one? Yes, because I want one. So if you say it's sold, right? And he's like, oh man, just sold it. I'm like, okay, thanks. He's like, bye. Done. Guys, think about this. When somebody needs a vehicle, when somebody's in the market for a vehicle, they got an itch. It's your job to scratch it. If he'd have had a good relationship with me and he'd have built that from the beginning, right now we'd be talking about some other options. Does that make sense? Let's move to the next call. Hey buddy, how you doing today? I was calling to check the availability on a pre-owned vehicle. Okay, which one is it? Yeah, it's gonna be the 2017 Ford Explorer XLT. I've got the stock number if you like. Let me, yeah, actually go ahead and uh, give me that. What is it? Here, hold on. Um, it's gonna be FP4522. Hey, how's your day going today? What's your name? I'm sorry, guys. Guess it's just, guess it's just me. If you can just give me just about a moment. Let me go double check. I'm just checking the credit. The key is here. Give me right, just guys, a I don't understand the check in the key part, okay? I don't under, am I dumb? Let me go check the key. Look, you got a live customer on the phone, right? They got an itch. It's your job to scratch it. They're like, is this still available? Can I ask a question? Is this guy sitting down? Yeah. You think he walked his inventory this morning when he got to work? Do you think he did? Because I'm going to tell you this. Right now, we're in an inventory shortage all around the country. You think this guy went out and walked his inventory this morning? You think he's prepared? Does success favor the prepared? Absolutely. This guy has no training. His manager should have had him walk his inventory this morning and probably should have walked it with him. They should have had him on the sales training on how to answer the phone, right? How to create a best friend within two minutes of anybody that's calling in. And by the way, at the end of the day, him and go and check in the key track if this car is available does nothing with mine and his relationship. It doesn't make me feel close to him. It makes me feel distant. Look, I had to build the courage to make the phone call to call him. And then when I call him, guess what he does? He puts me on the phone, creates more distance. Uh, say again? Yes, uh, so it is available. Okay, it is still available. And how many miles are on it? It has 67,000, just a little bit. 67,123 is what I'm showing. Okay, I'm sorry, man. Okay, I thought I had 47,000. Okay, brother. Well, I appreciate it. I'm going to keep checking around a little bit. And the miles are just a little bit too high. No problem. Okay. That's all right. I understand completely. Uh, keep checking with us, though. Okay, thank you. Are we, are we serious? Thanks, keep checking with us. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. I said I thought it had 47, the car's got 67 on it. Now look, let me tell you this. Sir, if it had 20,000 miles less on it, it would have been more money. Hey, but I totally understand. It sounds like you're looking for a certain price point because the price is probably what caught your eye. Look, I'm gonna ask this. If the vehicle had 67,000 miles on it, but it looked like it had zero miles on it and it was that nice, would you be interested? Probably. And by the way, the fact that it's priceless, the payment's gonna be way less as well. And I'm sure that's important to you. It's important to everybody when they buy something. Guys, can you have a conversation with your customer? Well, we could have if we had a relationship. We could have if we would have done our job and built rapport. We could have if we would have shown him that we're the expert instead of welcome to McDonald's, can I take your order, right? Guys, if this is your team, which most of you watching this right now, you won't own it that this is your sales team. You won't own it. Guess what? If you will, and you're one of the true one percenters that want the best sales teams in the world, shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. I'd love to get on the phone with you in two minutes. I can show you how to fix this. And if you're a top sales pro around the country and your dealer doesn't train you, okay? Let me take you under my wing. I'll make you the world's best. 918-210-0254. See you guys in the next video.